Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and I'm with the Paper Hollow. I'm here to show you some new products that are being produced in the U.S. They're for embossing on vellum. They're called Vibe Boards. Vibe stands for Vellum Impressions, beautifully embossed, and they're made by the American Vellum Craft Company. You have these acrylic boards that are laser etched and you're going to lay some vellum down, attach it with some washi tape or some frog tape, rub it with a little bit of wax paper from the kitchen, and then you're going to take a one millimeter stylus and you're just going to follow the lines. Basically you're just tracing, but as you're tracing you're putting a little bit of pressure and the color is turning white and you are embossing the vellum. There's no way for you to hurt the vellum, rip it, tear it, gouge it. There are no holes in the vellum or in the plates in order to hurt the vellum like the old brass stencils. You can push as hard as you want and it will not rip or tear. If you go outside the lines, it does not make a mark. So every impression comes out perfect. You do not need a light box. All you need is a dark piece of paper underneath the boards for the white lines to show through. Okay, when you get all done with that, you're going to remove the vellum from the board and color. We're going to keep the tape on here just to hold it down while we're coloring. We do not have to keep it on there, it's just something I would I prefer to do so I can remember which side to color on. A lot of times I will forget and flip it over accidentally. I'm going to use colored pencils today and they're just plain colored pencils that I got at Hobby Lobby. Wax based Prisma colors are your best bet and then there's some from Strathmore that are even better. They are oil based and they blend really really well. When you're coloring, you want to have three colors in your color scheme. You would like a medium and a dark and a light. This is going to be my light one. I'm going to start at the top. If you've ever taken any coloring classes from Copic, I am doing the flicking motion that I do with my markers. I do not recommend that you use Copics on your vellum. They like to sit on top and when you go to blend they pick up and streak. So now I'm just going to go from light, medium to dark. Pulling all those colors together and they will blend somewhere in the middle. I did not complete the image and I'm not going to bore you with my coloring because I want to show you what it looks like when you're finished. When you're all done coloring though you're going to flip it over and it's a little bit muted so you want to color pretty heavy and with dark colors. I have a finished one right here where I used oranges and yellows and blues and colored everything. I'm going to flip it over just so you can see how bright that is. But vellum tends to mute it. But that's what parchment craft is all about. We call it vellum here in the States. They call it parchment over in the UK. It's all the same. So here's our image completely done. If you noticed on the board, whoop, the nest is way over here. There's a branch and then there's a bird. What I did was I put my bird and branch here. I put my nest up here and then I built 
my other branch around it so that we had a full image and not, we didn't have a floating nest. It, it's at least on a branch now. I'm going to show you what it looks like on different colored backgrounds. So here it is on yellow. But look how it changes when it goes on to something like this. It looks like a full forest in the background. This one has a lot of pinks in it. You can change, change things around a lot just by changing your background up. This one has a darker color on the opposite side, so we could use it that way. So that's our bird. Here is a few other ones that I've done recently. These are called the butterfly bush. I love the flowers. When you do them in blue like this, they kind of look like um, morning glories. I'll slip a background underneath that and show you just how much it changes. This one is Christmas branch with bulbs. This company started approximately six months ago. We have over 150 boards with designs on them and more keep coming. This is such an easy way to design with vellum that I really think you're going to enjoy it. They're not very expensive. They start at $7. And there's just a whole lot. You can get things that are patriotic. You can get things that are very American, like Thanksgiving with a turkey or a cornucopia. You can get simple, you can get hard, you can get detailed, you can get not so detailed. So that's my introduction for these vibe boards and I hope you enjoyed my little video. I will put the information on how to order them on the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. Thank you everybody, hope to see you soon.